Hey guys, what's up? We just finished a ragdoll rehearsal and I thought it might be nice to give you guys a look at the rig that we're running to play live. This is going to detail the guitar rig, the bass rig, and our in-ears rig, as well as our PA rig as well, which sounds super complicated, but we're just using some amazing new technology to get great sounds anywhere we want them, anytime. Let's dive straight into it. So this is it. This is the brain of the ears rig. Uh, it's a Behringer XR18 digital mixer. It's got built-in Wi-Fi so you can control it from a phone or a tablet. I'm just using this uh, little Lenovo tab that I've got and it's super handy. The software's relatively easy to use. There is a learning curve with it. Um, and then I've just basically taped on uh, all the assignments for when we're running it. So running vocals on one to three, all the drums are four to eight, and then bass and guitar, and then the other six or so channels are for whatever else we wanna run. Uh, you know, if we wanna run backing tracks or anything like that, we can use the line ins on there. So the way this is set up at the moment, uh, there is an aux send, which is this guy here, which is going into the Sennheiser G4 wireless transmitter, and then both myself on guitar and Ryan on bass and vocals, we're using that same transmitter, and we've got a, G4 receiver each. So this guy here, uh, they've been really, really consistent. Uh, they sound great. I'm using a set of Audiofly in-ears. He's got a set of Ultimate ears. Uh, they both sound, you know, great. And then for the drums, we're actually using wide ears for the drums. There's a headphone output, uh, which you can assign, and I think we've got assigned to AUX 5 and 6, and that is basically just going down this cable right here. Uh, into the drummer's ears and Cam has a set of custom molded ultimate ears which he absolutely swears by really really handy especially for the drums you know keeping everything isolated and he's been super happy with those down at the bottom of the rack there is a Behringer Ultralink which is just a mic splitter it's passive which is super easy to use so in any case where we're doing a gig where say we want to be able to run our own ears and front of house can have all their own stuff and we can do it separately and mix our own ears uh, we can do that as well with the splitter super duper easy uh you know labeling your inputs is yeah that's something i should have done right at the start i'm glad i did that and uh, that just makes setup super easy using the behringer app is super easy as well the only addition I think we'll get another transmitter so that Ryan and I can run off totally separate in-ear mixes. And yeah, I mean, it requires a little bit of setup for this kind of thing. Um, a lot of the time when we're you know, doing a headline show, we're doing an all-night kind of show, having this kind of setup is great, especially if it's a venue where we have to run our own PA uh, because we can run the PA out of this thing as well. Or if we're playing in a, uh, you know, a less ghetto venue, then we can just fire this up just for our ears. Or even better, we can have the monitor engineer mix our ears and basically just, you know, we use the, the Behringer as a glorified headphone amp. And uh, we've done that in the past and it sounds great. Uh, the main thing is with, with this kind of thing is we found in situations where you don't have a lot of time to set up, having somebody to take care of mixing the ears is really, really important. If it's a bit more of a casual thing, mixing our own ears is great. And you can kind of, you know, get the mix, uh, in sort of the right place at the start, and then you can just tweak it over the length of a gig, which is really cool. The other big factor, let's move over here. I should just cut this together and edit it, but for guitar and bass, everything is now going through the Fractal Axe FX3, which is right here. You can see the preset I've got dialed up is for guitar and bass. So the way this is working is guitars going through input one and out of output one, and then around the back, there is a separate input and output Floor number two, the Apollo Twins doing nothing at the moment. It's just decoration. And then on the floor, I'm controlling everything with the Fractal FC6. So this is all the preset and scene changes, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's multiple menus. I've got it on the scenes menu at the moment for a ragdoll gig. That's basically where I live. And this, I mean, you can go and watch my video on the FC6. The layouts make it a much bigger board than it just looks in the physical switches. Mission expression pedal for the wah, which is pretty hip. And yeah, that's literally it. That's pretty much the rig. Oh, and a drum kit. Like, you know, you come over here and there's a drum kit. So that is the pretty much the Ragdoll rig rundown. It's uh, not super crazy. I mean, it's kind of crazy that you can do this with the tech these days. Um, but yeah, there's not a lot of ins and outs. It's all pretty much self-contained. That's a six space rack. This is a five space rack and the matrix is in there if we ever wanna run cabs on stage as well. I mean, I could stick that in a three space rack and that in a five space as well. And it's good to fly, good to go anywhere. It's really, really handy. I should show you guys 
my in ears. So I will cut this and then we'll have a look at the audio flies. So in this very nifty little container, if I open that up, there's my receiver with the ears. You can see I've just got, I think like a generic kind of plug, but these are really good. Uh, where are we? Focus on that. Nothing too fancy. Uh, they're pretty easy to clean, pretty easy to maintain, and uh, most importantly, they sound great. And with the Axe FX, I just run a little bit of, um, I'll show you guys this really quickly. If I go to the cab block, this is kind of the secret in the Axe. For me, anyway, I find basically getting rid of that really harsh direct sound is the Axe has a room parameter. Let's focus on that. Yeah, so I can adjust this, the size of the virtual room and the room level and the floor reflections and I find that a super duper handy parameter. Also run a little bit of a reverb as well. Well, that's not where we want to go on there. Just, I think it's just a studio verb. And that just, again, sort of takes that like harshness and dryness out of it. So yeah, that's the rig rundown. Thank you guys for watching. If you've got any questions, get them in the comments and I'm more than happy to get back to you. Cheers for watching.